ಸಂಸ್ಥಾಪಕಾಯ ಚರ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣಿ ಅವತಾರ ವರಿಷ್ಠಾಯ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ತೇ ನಮಃ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಎ ರಿಚ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಎ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ರಾಬರ್ ಸರೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಾಬರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಹಿಸ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ನಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪೊಸೆಷನ್ possessions from him one of the robbers said what's the good of keeping the man alive kill him saying this he was about the strike their victim with his sword and when the second robber interrupted and said there is uh, no use killing him let us uh, bind him fast and leave him he- here then he won't able to tell the tell the police accordingly the robbers tied with him in a rope and left him and went away after a while the third robber returned to the rich man and said ha oh, you are badly hurt aren't you come i am going to release you uh, the third robber um, said the man free and led him out of the forest when they came near the highway the robber said follow this road uh, you will uh, reach home say, easily but you must come with me too uh, said the man you have done so much for me and we shall all be happy to see you at your home no said the robber it is not possible for me to go there the police will arrest me so saying he left the rich man after the pointing out of this way now the first robber who said what's the good of keeping the man alive kill him it is a thapa it is a tamas it destroys the second robber is rajas which is uh, binds man to the walls and in like entangles him a variety of the activities rajas makes him the forget god satvik alone shows the way to god that it produces virtues like compassion and righteousness and devotion again satva is like a last step of the staircase next he, next it is the roof the supreme brahmin man own about a one can't attain the knowledge of brahman unless transcends uh, the three gunas the nature of the world one sir they brought a bulk of here in dakshineshwar i saw one day that he had tied he has tied it with a rope and garden so that it might graze there i asked him hridaya why do you tie the calf there uh, calf there every day and uncle he said i am going to send this calf to our village kamarpur when it grows strong i shall yoke it to pluff as soon as i heard these words i was stunned to think <coughs> how inscrutable in the play of the divine maya kamarpur and said <coughs> and she and see who are the far away from the culture calcutta this poor calf must go all, all that way then it will grow and the length it will be yoked into the pluff this is the indeed the world this indeed maya i fell down on consciousness only after a long time i did regain consciousness to use behind the grab of pious behavior pious behavior at a certain place there is a goldsmith shop uh, the workers there are known as a pious vaishnavas they have strings of beard about their necks religious and uh, religious and marks on their foreheads and backs containing their uh, rosaries and on their hands they repeat the names of the god aloud and one can almost call them sadhus only they have to work as goldsmiths to earn their bread bread and support their uh, wives wives and children many customers uh, hearing of their priority and come to the shop and because they believe that in that shop there uh, there will be no tricky with their gold or silver when the customer enter the shop and they see uh, the workers repeating the name of hari with uh, their tongues and doing their work with their hands no sooner do customers to uh, take seats uh, uh, in the shop and then one of the workers uh, cries out of keshava 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 a few minutes later another says gopi gopal gopal 
Gopal, Gopal. After they talk a little, uh, the third man cries out, Hari, Hari, Hari. In the mean that, uh, in the mean the time, the customers have almost finished their transactions. Then the fourth claims, Hara, 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 Hara. The customers are very much impressed with the devotion and uh, uh, for, forever of the owners of the field themselves. themselves are quite secure in handing them money they are sure they won't be cheated but do you know uh, what lies behind all these the man who says keshava keshava after the arrival of the customers means who are they in other words he wants to know the intelligence they are intelligent they are the man who says gopal gopal means to say that uh, finds them no better than a head of the crows the man says hari hari means may i rob them he suggested that since they are like a herd of the a head of the cows they can be robbed and the last man who says hara hara replies yes rob them he mean that the since the customers are like a herd of the cows and they can certainly rob them and uh, here too you see a group of pious men and very much devoted the god in bengal keshava is pronounced to keshava it's uh, if spokes as a key shab me it means who are all these lord vishnu also called hari in bengal hari also means should i rob lord shiva is also called hara it means that to rob uh, thus the person uttering the hara hara is uh, is uh, signaling the rob of the cheating these people cheating these people souls caught in that net men be divided into four classes men be divided into four classes those bound by the fetters of the world the seekers after the liberation the liberated and the ever free among the ever free we may count the sages like narada they live in the world of for the good of the others to teach men to teach men spiritual truth those in bondage are sunk in world line Uh, worldliness and uh, forgetful of the god not even by mistake do they think of god the seekers after liberation want to free themselves from the attachment to the world some of them succeed and other do not the liberated souls such as the sadhus mahatmas are not ent entangled in the world in women and gold their minds are free from the worldliness besides they always meditate in the lotus feet of the god suppose a net a net has been cast into the lake to catch the fish some fish some fishes are so clever then they are never caught into the net uh, they are like the ever free but most of them fishes are entangled in the net some of them are tried to free them uh, free them sales from it sales from it they are to like those who seek liberation uh, but not at all the fish and struggle succeed a very few do jump a uh, few do jump out of the net and making the big splash of the water then the fisherman shout look oh, there goes a big one and but most of them fish are caught into the can't, can't be escape nor do they nor do they make the effort to get out of on the contrary they burrow uh, they burrow they burrow the mud with the net of the mouth send up and lie they quietly thinking we need not to fear any more we are quietly safe here but the but the poor things don't the man, don't that the fisherman will drag them out of the net these are like the men bound to the world the bound souls are tied to the world by the fetters of the women and gold women and gold they are bound hand of the foot thinking thinking that women and gold will make them happy and give them security they do not realize that it will lead to them as annihilation when the man thus bound the world is about to die his wife ask you are about to go but what have you done for me again such as his attachment to the thinking of the world that when he sees the lamp burning brightly he says dim the light too much oil is being used and he is one of his death bed the bound souls of his never think of the god if they get 
leisure the indulge in thy gospel of the foolish talk or the engage of the fruitless work if you ask one of them reason he answer who oh, i cannot keep still so i am making uh, making a hedge when the time hangs heavy on their hands and perhaps starts playing cards the roots of all sufferings it is narrated in the in the bhagavata that uh, avadhuta had 24 gurus one of uh, one of whom was a kite in certain place of the fishermen were catching fish a kite swooped down and snatched a fish at the sight of the uh, fish about a thousand crows uh, chased it to the kite and chased it to the kite and made a great noise with the with the craving and whichever was the kite flew with the fish and crows followed it the kite flew to the south and crows all followed there the kite flew to the north and still the, the crows followed after it the kite went to the east and west and but the same result as the kite began to fly about its in confusion uh, to the fish dropped from this mouth and crows uh, once the kite alone the flews and after the fish thus, re thus re uh, re relieved its worries the kite saw on the branch of the tree and the thought that uh, wretched fish was at the root of my all my troubles i have now got rid of it and therefore i am at a peace the avaduta learned this lesson from the kite uh, that as long as the man has the fish uh, that uh, that is worldly desires he must perform actions and consequently suffer from the worry anxiety restlessness and no sooner does he renounce these desires then his activities of fall away he enjoys the peace of soul